I've been a fan of kung fu movies ever since I was a kid. Home alone watching my favorites, I get inspired to try out a few of the moves myself. The end result being a house of flying pillows and the mother of all messes. Which is why I've decided to take this getaway to a place called Shandu. Zhejiang Shandu is most noted as the filming site for over 100 Chinese martial arts films, such as Miss Yang the General, The Proud Twins, and one of my favorites, Demigods and Semi-Devils. Daolong's first stop in Shandu, Dinghu Peak, where I met a local named Xiao Xue, who became my impromptu tour guide. From there, it was off to a temple in memory of Huang Di, China's legendary first ancestor, and a statue of him that is humongous. It took three years to complete. Equally impressive is Qing Tian Stone, a perfect combination of the forces of nature and the power of human creativity. Xiandu's two chief icons, Dinghu Peak and Huang Di, live side by side in this amazing natural stone. Today I'll drive deeper into the mystery and movie magic that is Xiandu, the capital of the immortals. Coming up, I'll take two miniature companions in search of movie magic and a miniature replica of China's other Great Wall. This time on Getaway. You know, in a place as jam-packed with legend and history as Xiandu is, you can find interesting stories around almost every corner. Old Man Ni's cave is the best preserved example of Xiandu's Moya stone inscriptions you'll find anywhere. There are more than 60 stone inscriptions here, spanning over a thousand years and various imperial dynasties. The three oldest inscriptions are actually right here in this gazebo. Legends of the Immortal hit around every corner indeed. This inscription, believe it or not, is 1,300 years or more old. It was written by, get this, Li Bai's uncle, Li Yangbing, Li Bai, if you don't know, is one of China's most famous poets. In fact, he is called the Immortal Poet. This inscription says Ni Wangdong, which means the old man Ni's cave. Now, why did Li Yangbing create this inscription? He did it because 10 meters that away is a man who apparently lived 2,500 years ago by the name of Ni. And his companion, <laughs> in his life in this natural cave was an interesting one. Old Man Ni lived not by himself but with a white ape. The story of how they came to be together is an interesting one. Oh, and their home Pretty interesting too. <laughs> now, Old Man Ni was an immortal of a different kind. He was a special man. He came here from Hunan province. And when he found this natural cave, he also found a white ape who already lived here. The ape wasn't really happy with him being here, and so they had a bit of a battle. After a long struggle, he tamed the ape, made it obedient, and they lived here together in peace for a very, very long time. Ergo, the inscription. 